Hello, and in this video today, we are talking about oral care and sinus care, putting them together as part of your morning routine. Now, hopefully at this point in your life, you brush and floss with some regularity, but did you know there are a few other steps you can add to your oral and sinus care routine that can promote longevity, promote heart health, promote good breath, which let's be honest, that's pretty important as well. Uh, easy to do, just takes a few minutes and I'm going to take you through them today. So before you brush, before you floss, what I like to start with is a little bit of tongue scraping. Now your tongue can say a lot about your health, depending on the color of it, depending on the texture. We won't get into that today in this video about the specifics. However, your tongue is one of the starting points of your digestive tract and one of your few visible markers you can see to determine how well your digestive tract is doing. One way to clean it up is use a tongue scraper. So this is a plastic one. Typically it's good to use a quality metal one. I'd probably skip aluminum, but perhaps copper, stainless steel. But for sake of this video and ease, just gonna use a plastic one. Simple to do, get it on Amazon, just a few dollars a piece. And yes, most of them are reusable. And what I'm gonna have you do is just take the tongue scraper, okay, palm down, <laughs> stick out your tongue, and then just pull from back to front, three to five times, different parts of the tongue, and then just expectorate out anything that's left. Huh? 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 And five. For gross purposes, I won't show you the tongue scraper. However, it pulls a bit of, quite a bit of bacteria and kind of excess slime, if you will, that sits on the tongue. This is especially important in the morning as your body detoxifies and things come to the surface ready to be peed, pooped, and expectorated out. So three to five there, nice and simple. Then wash it off, expectorate the rest. I'll save you the visual of that as well. Right, so that's number one. Number two, so what I like to do is a little bit of a sinus rinse. So you can use a neti pot if you're a fan. Um, I don't use a neti pot. All I do is simply take some purified water, put it in my palm like so, and then very simply close up one nostril and just sniff in the water and hold it in my sinus cavity, right? So inhale and hold it up there. Breathe it up a few times if it wants to fall out. And you'll want to expectorate that as well. It might come out quickly. If you have clear sinuses, you might need to breathe a few up and in to get a little bit more out. You wanna make sure you do both sides. One side typically is a little more clogged than the other in my experience. And just inhale, expectorate, and watch some of those particulates that are hanging out in your sinuses disappear. You might need to blow a few in and do a few more expectorations. Blow your nose as well also will help to clear it all out, right? Who said we weren't friends here? We get to talk about all of this stuff. So what that'll look like is cleaning out your sinuses, which many people say in ancient Ayurveda anyway, that it is the seat of uh, your illness is in your sinuses. And when you think about it with all our COVID conversations, where do our respiratory infections come from? Breathing in through the nose, through the mouth, right? So getting the opportunity to clear out those sinuses with a little bit of purified water can be very supportive to bolster your immunity. Breathe a little bit better and if it's been sitting in there for quite some time, it's actually a pretty visceral good feeling to clear it out. Ah, feels good, okay, cool. Next two, we have oil pulling, another ancient Ayurvedic practice. Love doing this one. I'm a daily flosser, daily brusher. However, using a, a quality base oil, such as a, a sesame seed oil, quality olive oil, avocado oil, and swishing it around in your mouth for a few minutes can pull the bacteria uh, that are in plaque that are sitting between your teeth that the brushing and flossing can't quite get. So doing that for a few minutes can be very supportive. What I do is I keep it right by um, my, kind of my coffee station in the morning while I'm making coffee, I'll just swig some down swish for two to five minutes while I'm prepping my day and then expectorate it out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, and spitting that out as well. You definitely don't want to swallow that oil 
for caloric purposes in the morning and it's filled with pathogens and bacteria that are just hanging around your mouth in the morning so you want to make sure you get rid of that you may also want to take an inch of rinse of water after spit that out as well and then you have a mm, warm clean refreshing mouth taste however one more step if you so choose to use it and this is especially good if you feel like you're coming down with a little bit of sickness a little tickle in the back of your throat perhaps a little bit of swelling at your lymph nodes on your neck it's a little salt water rinse and uh, swish so same kind of principles as the oil pulling you'll want to uh, fill up kind of a, a salinous solution with uh, some uh, some purified water and some quality salt, Redmond salt, Celtic salt, quality uh, Himalayan salt. I'd probably stay away from Morton's or sea salt for a myriad of reasons, but something uh, that is of quality with purified water and gargling that for one to two minutes can also support, remove bacteria, nice, gentle, easy way to cleanse your, uh, your oral cavity uh, without anything too, too, uh, too, too serious. So give yourself a little swish. <laughs> and voila, gargle salt water as well for the finishing touch on the oral care routine. And then after that, you can of course brush, floss, whatever you need to do as part of your routine. But those are four easy steps to allow you to further uh, cleanse and clear your oral and sinus cavities in the morning doesn't take too much time and it's an excellent way to gently wake up your body, do something good for your immunity that isn't too taxing at all and uh, start to feel great uh, with your morning routine. Hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think.